Hey there, members of the tech space. How's it going? And so today's video, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about something that I did recently. And, um, you know, so I told you guys that my wife still continued to have Boost Infinite. She actually had it on my original first account. So not the account that I was using, but I had uh, created an account before I got my account. Because back then, they didn't allow you to have multiple lines on Boost Infinite. But that's upside the point. Um, so anyways... I do have a line on the account that she has. Uh, purpose for it is is to you know not only get acquainted with any updates that Boost Infinite may have, whether it's on the AT and T side or whatever. Um, which of, of course mine is on the AT and T side, um, which I have on my iPhone 12 with eSIM, and you know just running some speed tests for you guys to see that uh, there's been um, a little bit of change with the AT&T network. Um, so this is specifically going to go towards the AT&T for recognition and not so much Boost Infinite because, you know, for the AT&T side connection, they are an MVNO. Um, the uplink is still showing a bit weak on the weak side. And, you know, I'll just, I'll just check the, uh, you know, the speed test uh, map just to kind of see the average. Of course, the averages are probably going to be based on my speed test because around this area, I'm probably the only one that's doing speed tests. Um, but you know, overall, just wanting to see if there has been any significant changes in experience for Boost Infinite. And the reason for that is obviously, you know, I run and operate a group on Facebook that is for Boost Infinite, and lots of people are on there now. And shout out to everyone in that community group. I appreciate you guys for being a part of that group and uh, sharing your experiences daily. Love the interactions there. If you guys are not part of it, I'll put the link into the description if you guys want to join it and be able to share your thoughts and, you know, just help other people out that may be new to Boost Infinite and not really understanding, you know, like how things work or what type of SIM they have, because that's a mass confusion and the mass, you know, uh, questions that I see quite a bit. Um, no, I don't have the Rainbow SIM access. Uh, they did not, you know, convert me over. And um, they may not be doing that anytime soon. Um, the goal is to be able to do that in the future, but as of right now, no. And of course, the iPhone 12 wouldn't support the Rainbow SIM. It doesn't have, uh, I believe it's N70 support for 5G, which is Dish's native uh, 5G for VONR or Vonner, voice over NR, which is a, a quintessential part of their network. And that's the reason why that there was only certain phones that were capable of doing that. But now, I do have the Moto G Stylus 5G 2022, but I'm not going to use it on uh, Boost Infinite. And, you know, just to kind of give you guys an idea, um, Metro used to make, you know, the connection on the AT&T side for Boost Infinite uh, look superly weak, and it doesn't anymore. I mean, the downlink is nearly comparable. The uplink, uh, T-Mobile's network still has that on lock in my area. Um, hopefully, with the AT&T side with Boost Infinite, it gets better. Um but I would just say, you know, of course, I'm going to be doing some update videos and stuff. So thanks for checking out my video.